Hey everyone, it's Cameron from Mini Muleys. Today in this video, I wanna give you a look into the step-by-step -step process of what it takes for our team to be able to craft a custom replica of your own animal. Each and every product that we create at Mini Muleys is truly unique. And so naturally there's a lot of questions about the process. How does it work? How do I send the photos? Were the photos good enough? How long is my mini going to take? There's lots of questions that we get over and over and over, and we don't fault you for it. But in this video, we hope to be able to give you some answers to those questions and more so that you have a look into our process and so that our team can also focus even more time into crafting and creating your custom replicas so that we can get them to you as soon as possible without sacrificing quality. The very first step is that we receive your order. We onboard your information into our custom mini order tracker. Now at this time, this is only something that's utilized by our team and we hope in the very near future to be able to have that integrated where updates and status information about your order can be sent to you throughout the process so that you're in the know. Step number two is that your photos are received and then downloaded. Now, lots of times people will say, did you get my photos? Are they good enough? We'll talk a little bit more about that. But once you've sent your photos through, you should receive a confirmation email from WeTransfer saying that your photos were successfully sent. As long as you get that, you are good to go. Next, we get into our photo processing. Our team uses a combination of over five different softwares that we've developed to be able to make this possible. We do not download your photos until we are ready to begin processing them because they can take anywhere from three hours to 26 hours, which is our current record, to be able to process all of the data and all of the information in them that allows us to do what we do. Now, once this process has completed, we go into our photo review process. Only once your photos have processed will we know if they are successful. If for any reason they are not, a member of our team will always reach out to you and let you know exactly what we need in order to be able to get that custom of your mini. And they'll give you some step-by-step -step instructions or anything that you can do differently. To avoid having to retake photos, please be sure to follow the information in the video provided for the instructions on how to take those photos and please take those instructions seriously. While they don't have to be perfect, following those simple instructions can save so much time and can be a huge indicator as to the quality that we'll be able to achieve for your custom mini, as well as how fast we're going to be able to perform that custom for you. Next is the digital rendering and refinement. We begin to refine the surfaces and fix broken tines and add any detail through digital software that may have been lost and this is what allows us to create the overall base shape of your animal. This is a detailed and time consuming process, but it's a critical part of the process that allows us to capture the detail that's needed in order to create a true custom replica. This is also the process that's the last point in time where you can order additional replicas of your animal should you choose to do so. Now you can always order additional animals at any time, but it's the last point in our process where we're able to deliver them at the same time as your current order. Finally, we're ready for that physical sculpting and to be able to create the base shape of your mini. Using high-speed rotary tools and other sculpting tools, we're able to craft that final shape and add all of the tiniest of details into your animal so that we can match the original. Only once this has been completed are we able to turn it over to our artists. Just like painting a custom portrait, our artists sometimes step away and come back to your mini in order to give it the attention and detail that it deserves. Next, your custom mini goes through our quality control team. We're able to look for every detail to ensure the painting and the sculpting has been done to the very best level possible. While it's rare, we also make mistakes on our end and have sometimes had minis that have broken or things that have just been done incorrectly. 
When this happens, we go through that quality control process to ensure that we get it right. And sometimes that might even mean starting over. While that can take longer, it's something that we do no matter what to ensure we're providing the very best product for yourself. Finally is packaging and shipping. While your minis can be fairly strong, the tiniest of details like drop tines and kickers and tiny points on your tines can be fragile. So we take extra care to package them, label them correctly, add you into our tracking system, and then make sure we can get them delivered your way. And finally, the very best part is that they're delivered. You can follow the tracking number provided to ensure that your custom mini makes it safely to you. The most exciting and fulfilling part for all of our team is to hear from you. How did you like your mini? The gifting stories when you're giving and sharing this with others. It's really unique that you're able to bring your hunting memories with you wherever you go whether it's in your vehicle or in your office or in your home, or if you're gifting and sharing these with others who shared in that experience and the adventure with you. We love hearing from you. So please tag us on Instagram, send us a message, let us know how we did. We love that and it's fulfilling for us and it makes us want to do even better and continue to provide the level of detail and service that we strive to do. Now, before we end this video, we want to take the time to answer a couple of the most frequently asked questions that we get from our customers when it comes to the custom minis. The first question that we get often is, will you charge me more if I need to resend in my photos because they were unsuccessful? The answer is currently no. Now, we probably should because it does take our team a significantly longer amount of time to be able to craft your customs if we are having to go through that process multiple times. However, we know that this is a new process not only for you, but for our team as well. And so we're trying to provide the very best instructions possible. And we simply ask that you make a full effort to follow the instructions provided when it comes to the quantity of photos, where you take your photos, and just making it easy to send them in our way so that we can then do the rest. The next question that we get often when it comes to custom replicas is how long will it take? Now I hope this gives you even the slightest bit of insight into the process that it takes for our team to craft these from start to finish. They are truly unique and it's something that even ourselves are constantly learning and getting better and better at what we do. In short, we're not promising exact timing. If you have an event or a birthday or something where you really need it by a specific date, it's probably not the best time to order a custom replica. However, on average, we have been averaging as little as one to two months for that turnaround time. Now it's our goal to be able to stick within that and only get better. But once again, at this time, we do not want to sacrifice any quality when creating your custom mini replica. And so it's not something that we're promising right now. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and we hope that it allows our team to be freed up even slightly more to spend more time working on the creation of your custom replica for you so that we can get it to you as soon as possible.